Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Did you get a lot of toys, clothes, new things? I hope so. I'm Miss Nona, by the way, the story lady. And today we're going to read a book called Stuff by Margie Palatini. It's what happens when you hang on to too much old stuff and get new stuff and you don't have room for all your stuff. Hmm. Stuff. Edward had a lot of stuff. He had so much stuff, even his stuff had stuff, which was a lot of stuff. Look at all the stuff he has. Anthony said, Edward, you've got too much stuff. How can anyone have too much stuff, answered Edward. What a bunch of junk, said Marguerite. Get rid of it. Junk? It's my stuff. I can't get rid of my stuff, insisted Edward. And he didn't. Edward continued to stuff stuff. Look at that. That shelf is going to break. Soon there was no place for anything but stuff, including Anthony or Marguerite. They can't get in. There's too much stuff. What's he going to do with his friends? Even the cat picked up and left. The mice soon followed. Edward hardly noticed. He was too busy with his stuff. Anthony phoned Edward. Want to do something today? Can't, answered Edward. Doing stuff with my stuff. Marguerite stood by Edward's front door and shouted, Come out of that stuffy house! He didn't. Edward stayed stuffed with his stuff. Then one day, a very large truck drove down Edward Street. The rumbles were so big, they shook each and every house. Of course, that didn't matter much to the other houses, only to Edwards, which had all that stuff. Stuff slid this way. Stuff slipped that way. Stuff teetered, stuff tottered, and before Edward knew it, oh my gosh, what happens? Splat! No, the splat was not Edward, just some stuff. Oh, I'm glad he's okay. All that stuff made a tiny empty space surrounded by other stuff with only just enough room for Edward. I'm saved, saved by my stuff. How good was that? Well, not that good. It got sort of boring stuck in there with all his, you know what? Plenty boring. Oh, so boring. In fact, Edward got plain old sick and tired of all that boring stuff. He's playing with his socks. I guess that's stuff too, huh? You know what he said? I gotta get out of here! Truth be told, he missed Anthony and Marguerite. Edward wondered what they were doing while he was stuck with all his stuff. Looks like they're having fun out in the sun, aren't they? They're roller skating and unicycling and eating ice cream and flying kites all at the same time, huh? He shouted, he yelled, he whimpered, he whined, oh. No one heard him. There was too much stuff. Look at the birds. Poor Edward, I have a feeling he'll be okay. Then, many days later, Anthony and Marguerite came by the house and heard a soft, faint sound coming from way within. I think that is Edward, said Anthony, ear to the door. Marguerite agreed. I would know that whiny whimper anywhere. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff. The two opened the door, which was not easy. They bravely burrowed, tunneled, and dug through stuff a lot of stuff. Look at that. They dug, 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 dug. Think they're gonna find him? I hope so. They finally found Edward. I'm so glad. Ta-da! He was dazed, dizzy, plenty pale, and bored stiff from stuff, but was able to look at his friends and say, 
help me get rid of this stuff. Think they'll help him? I bet so. Anthony and Marguerite were glad to do so. They gave away stuff to anyone and everyone who wanted it or needed it, and sometimes they just plain junked the junk, which made a lot of people happy. Look at all that stuff. But most of all, Edward, because now he had lots of room and loads of time to do, well, other stuff. He played games with Anthony. He tangled the night away with Marguerite. Or he just hung out with his friends. Pillow fight! That looks like fun, too. Which, as Edward discovered, was really the best stuff of all. They're all out playing in the yard. Isn't that fun? Look at the birds. I love happy endings. Me too. Let's go grab some grub. I think everybody ended up happy. We don't need so much stuff, do we? The end. <laughs>